this happens all the time. We're working in Google Sheets, we have some times or some data in a sheet, and we're gonna merge rows based on how many of these correspond, right? So this is three rows, they all correspond to New York City, and we're gonna merge New York City. In the case, we might be better off doing something like this, but it's not always the same look and feel we may want to actually just merge the rows and have one city here. Now, this looks fine. I can see here three rows. But if I do this for hundreds or dozens of rows even, it's going to become a little bit unwieldy to count each and every uh, one of these items uh, when I really just want to know how many times did I merge this Vancouver. Well, I made a app script that does this for you. Uh, check out app script and you can see it here when it opens. What we've done is, first we've created an on open menu that uh, this is just gonna be a menu right here, this new menu, and we're gonna be able to access it. But what does this row count do? What the row count simply does is take the variable rows wherever we're active. So we're getting the active range, the, the selection that we're in, and we're getting the number of rows, dot get number rows. We're saying in our spreadsheet that's active right now, create a toast menu and show us how many rows there are, have the text rows, and then insert that number here. So if we are one, B2, this is only one cell, we click up here, row count, and in the bottom right, it'll say rows one. But now we click on NYC where we merge three rows. We're going to click new menu, row count, and immediately we see rows three. And this works however many times we merge the cells. So let's merge those, all of these, into one and go up to new menu, row count, and get nine rows. There we go. So very quickly, we've been able to create this little tool in our sheet that counts the merged rows, or counts the number of rows in a merged cell.